Friday morning, shop is a little blown up. All the shells for the concert tom runs showed up Wednesday late afternoon. We didn't even tear it into them because we were wrapping up a couple drums for Dram. We are currently packing up the trailer for Dram. Deep River Ancient Muster. We got the best guy on it. There he is. <laughs> Pretty sure you're supposed to pull on something and say, I ain't going anywhere. There we go. Home for the next two days. We're staying in a hotel because we're not gonna sweat to death in a tent. I don't know what's going on, so I'm kind of like, you know, I'm in the way. Yep. set up, ready to pedal our wares. Three bases, a slew of snares, all the kids' drums, hopefully one or two or all five will move. We have our accessories and straps and Bilbo Baggins. idea what these tents are for. That's the campground. You can't get in there unless you have a bracelet signifying you've paid for camping. Seems like we'll be packing up soon. <laughs> Throwing everything in the cases, throw it in the trailer, lock it up. Back to a hotel for air conditioning and charging the cell phones. And Dave, today we sold a carry loop, two pairs of sticks, and one of the 10 inch kid size drums. Finally. Decent day. Interest in some of the other drums, but we'll see what happens. I think it's like Friday night flirt. People figure out what they want, make their decisions tomorrow. We'll see what happens. All right, birthday boy? Day two of DRAM. It's supposed to hit 85 degrees today with a real feel of 96. That sounds fabulous. We rolled in around nine, popped up the tent, set up the booth. Busier than I expected. Sold a 14 inch drum with a strap and a case and some sticks. A bunch of other people coming by to talk to us. Finally got a little downtime parade, probably kicked off. A few minutes ago, they'll be here soon.
spicing up the day with an impromptu drum repair. Overthinking me, decided to bring all the accessories and rope with an eye splice, and we just sold, we just sold it. rope and a re-rope job. That's right. It puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> Appears to be winding down. The audience section has have basically cleared out. Three vendors have left. So we've made the decision instead of baking and melting, we're just gonna slowly tear down in the daylight instead of the dark. What's the deal with these? You just fold them up. Well, guys, we don't fold stuff that goes in the wash. Well, my wife will be the one who puts it in the wash and says, What's wrong with you? Why don't you fold it? That's when you blame. Nope. She can grab a t shirt or any kind of shirt, kind of flip it up in the air and flip that and fold it. I put it on the ground or on the couch, <laughs> upside down. The whole thing. Puts it back on. Says so screw this. <laughs> Dude, that is abysmal. Well, that one? <laughs> well, if you look like you know what you're doing, you'd have to keep doing it. Oh, that's a good point. You have no idea. Do you have Trust me, I've turned enough white clothes in pink. <laughs> Well, that's an opportunity for most of us. <laughs> yeah. Sunday morning. Picked up the trailer around 9 a.m. in the rain. Back to Massachusetts around 11. Load in. All loaded in, drums on the shelves. Cases stay here, next musters in two weeks. Three or four more this season. Next week we start the concert tom run. Then, then maybe we'll pick this place up.